Hi there, it's Moira MacDonald. Um, I thought we could maybe have a wee go at making some tags uh, or embellishments. Um, I'm trying to think of ways in which we can keep things fairly simple from the point of view that I, I would quite like to make things that um, other folk could try and have a go at making. And when you start to throw in hundreds of really fancy embellishments and stamps, it can sometimes get a bit overwhelming for folk that are maybe new to trying to, to make their own embellishments. Um, so what I've done is, don't get me wrong, uh, obviously a lot of the stuff I'm going to use is um, things that you maybe won't automatically have. But I'll run you through what I've made so far. Um, I've got a little die that enables me to make little envelopes. Um, and I'm going to be using them as part of my embellishment. So I die cut and glued up a lot of little envelopes. I've die cut some itty bitty um, doilies from just scrapbooking paper. Uh, again, if you don't actually have a wee die to, to make these out of scrapbooking paper, you could just get a normal wee doily and uh, maybe cut it into quarters or eighths just so that you've got a wee bit of decorative edge. Um, I've got a wee pile of hearts that I've cut from scrapbooking paper. Um, again, simply because I think hearts is one of these things that most folk will either have a die for or a wee punch um, that enables them to, to make little hearts to go with things. To go with my little bit of envelopes, I have cut little squares of card and used a wee itty bitty stamp with text on it to make it look like little letters so that when I put my envelope down I can have that looking as if it's coming out like a wee letter. Um, again, you don't need to do them like that. I'm just one of these really pedantic folk that does things um, to the max. Um, all you really need is just a wee torn bit of paper and maybe scribble a wee bit of writing on it. It, it doesn't need to be overly fancy. Die cuts and wee, sta uh, wee tags. Again, most folk are able to make wee tags. Even if you don't have a fancy die cut, you can just cut little bits of card and do the corners as you would just do a normal tag. Um, over and above that, I have some ephemera that is just like bills. I made these myself digitally, but again, these sort of things are really widely available from the likes of uh, Tsunami Rose or other shops on Etsy. Um, it's just like little ephemera that I've printed out in a small size. And I've got some lace that I have coffee stained. Um, a piece of, what do you want to call it? <coughs> Excuse me, muslin. And the main component is going to be a time card. I bought these time cards from eBay. Uh, mine, <coughs> excuse me, mine are blank on the back. I know a lot of the ones that are about ha are double sided. But even if you use a double sided one, there's nothing stopping you from going over the back with just some tea dyed paper. I folded it up in such a way that the, the tag, it's, uh, the, what do you call it, the time card itself, it's, it's, it's too big for any journal I make. Uh, <coughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, if it fits whatever you're working with, fair enough. But in terms of length, this is somewhere in the region of almost nine inches. Now that's that's pretty long uh, for anything I do. So what I've done is I have creased it at five and a half to make it that you can then, uh, once I've glued it, you can use that as a pocket. And I've just folded over that little bottom bit at, I think it's about an inch, or maybe an inch and a quarter, give or take. Um, and we'll decorate that as we're going along. 
Now, the first thing I want to do is I've got some music paper and I'm just going to use that for the background. Just tear a bit off and glue it down and then also a piece of uh, just normal book paper. These are quite my books are, are a good age, so they, they do look quite uh, old looking in that respect. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use them to just go around the top. Uh, today's glue is the Art Glitter Dries Clear Adhesive. And I would like to say a special thank you to my good friend, uh, Cheryl Stark, who very kindly provided me with a really fancy little pin to stick in the top. Look how attractive that is to stop my glue from gunking up. So thanks very much for that, Cheryl. Try and get that straightish. Bit of music. I dare say I'll get better at getting the pin in. Uh, with the passage of time. Now I've got a straight edge in the top, not deliberately, it just so happens I've got a straight edge, so I'm going to use that and just stick it along the top here. Going over a little in the corner, so I'm going to cut that just to straighten that up. Take my distress ink and go around the edges. Now what I want to do is I want to stick this down so I'm going to go along the edges here to make my first pocket and then I want to be able to stick this down as well Just holding it down, do you know what I mean? And that is us. Stick my really fancy pen in, pen in again. There we go. Now, so I've got a wee pocket here. It's quite a tight wee pocket I have to add, but it will get... Uh, I'm going to be using some stuff to stick in it. What I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to have a look, because what I want to do is I want to use my ephemera to just hang out of the pocket in some way. Like that. And then do one of my wee letters in there like that. And that'll be fine. Now I'll distress round my coat. That's Daisy barking in the background if you can hear her. Um, no doubt someday will have wandered past who she considers to be an incredible threat to us all. I'm going to have that coming out of there, so I want to put a little blue at the bottom 
line up that side like that. Don't need to overdo the amount I'm using here because I am going to put it in in such a way that it will overlap slightly on the corner there. Actually I've done that in a, from a different angle than I was going to do it but not to worry it doesn't honestly doesn't matter. Uh, do my wee envelope just to stick in. I put glue on the, the wee flap as well and stick that in like that and then take one of my wee letters that I've made and I can put a wee bit of glue in the back of this and that will stick out a little envelope like that Now what I want to do, now it's my intention that this will still be able to be used as a tuck so you'll be able to put a tag in there if you want but what I want to do is I want to decorate that in some fashion so I'm just going to use uh, first and foremost a little bit of my coffee stained lace And stick that there and for this I think I'll be using the old where is it? Uh, it's the the three in one but effectively it's the same as um, the Fabri-Tac stuff. They're both made by Beacon. And my lace is actually just a little bit longer than my pocket but that's okay that doesn't mean the world's going to end that just gives you a wee fancy overlap lid back on that and we'll get our scissors and cut off the bits that's overlapping when I say the bits that's overlapping I mean at the two sides because I'm not going to touch the bit that's overlapping at the bottom I quite like that and I'm going to add one of my little doilies here vintage button to that with a little piece of your cheesecloth underneath it now I haven't coffee stained the cheesecloth not for any reason other than I just haven't done it so we'll put our wee bit of cheesecloth there Cross that for just a wee bit extra layering. Get our button. Put that on top like that. Hope I'm in shot okay. And why don't we add a little heart over on the other side? Mm. 
and that will do us. So that can serve as either just an embellishment on a page or a floating embellishment and basically it could be a tuck spot as well uh, and a wee pocket here for another tag. So that's the first one done. Um, move that out of the way and we'll get another time card out. So in terms of where I folded this, it is, I think, five and a half was what I started with. Wait a minute to get it in position. So fold it at five and a half. And then basically you want that folded over again because you don't, if you make your pocket that big it's enormous. So either fold it over or cut it and I'm just going to score here at two inches. thing I want to do is I'll run round the edges. Actually no I won't run round the edges. I'll do a bit of book page first. Now I've got an image on this page so uh, I quite like the thought of that as part of my embellishment because that is uh, that's quite decorative. Now I've overlapped at the top but I'll trim that off. Um, a little bit of music. Doesn't need to be a noise. I'm just going to have that across the top there. Put my glue there because I know I'm going to overlap that. That'll do me. I don't think I've done this right. There we go. Glue applied. Now cut off my overhang bits. Once I've done my overhang, I can then do my distress ink around the edge. Glue this into place. Just use this this time. Oops, I'm just determined to come up. And 
Now I uh, want to get one of my wee embellishments that I've made, one of my wee digital images. Just run round the edge. And I don't want to stick that in too far because I want that wee girl's face to be shown. So I think that's fine like that. to fit in the pocket. All I'll do is like that. <clears throat> now, if I'm going to be using my envelope, I could also add my envelope up higher. As long as, obviously, it's well stuck down and not going to get in the way of any other kind of, if you know, if you're going to be using this as a pocket, you don't want to add any embellishment that's going to be sticking out and catching as you put tags in and out your pockets. Uh, get one of my wee letters. Now we want the wee bit of lace to go along the bottom. Uh, the laces that I did coffee stain, I think uh, this might be a better size for not over lapping. Oh, that one. That's not overlapping, but what we could do is uh, I've got some that's not coffee stained, and I think what I'll do is I'll apply that lower down. Just give me a wee second here to reapply that. And I can do like it's layered. If you get my drift, right, just add that there. You can always trim off the stuff that overlaps at the side. It's actually the same lace, that's just a piece that I hadn't coffee stained. And what I would quite like to do is put on in such a way that it's um, doesn't necessarily look like the same lace so you want it to you know like it's got peaks and troughs on it and I don't want my peaks and troughs to match up I want them to look as if they're in different positions and that way it looks like it's two different laces Turn that over and cut it off down the side. Take away the wee scrappy bits that we don't need. Now what I want to do, I got this the other day, which is really, really nice. I uh, got it on, I think it was eBay. And it's basically, it's La Bridal Lace and it does have the sequins. Because I did, uh, I did that tag not that long ago, uh, following the instructions from Julie Kay. And she had incredible lace in her video. And I really fancied getting some lace like that, but I didn't know how to how to source it. And I know everybody said, well, you know, you can go and get a second-hand wedding dress, but I thought, I, do, I really, I've got a touch of the Miss Habersham as it is. What I really don't need to do is surround myself with uh, wedding dresses. <laughs> 
God help me if ever there's a fire. Ala Miss Halverson. Right, we'll add that at the bottom and that looks really quite impressive. And we shall add a little uh, heart and I think I'll just distress around the edge with a wee bit of uh, vintage photo distress ink. Add that over there. I think a wee vintage button would be nice here. And we all like a vintage button. That's a nice button. I do. I, do, I like that button. Put it on top of my wee heart. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll maybe add a wee tag here. Just to add an extra wee layer. And that'll do for me. So you get your wee pocket there. I mean if you're using it, you can just use it as an embellishment itself and write on the back of it. Um, but that I think is looking pretty attractive. So that's my second one made. And at this point I'll stop and tidy a little and come back and make another one. So, ready for tag number three. Um, got my, <coughs> excuse me, my time card. And if we take it to, now what was it we did? Was it five inches or five and a half? I can't remember. We'll make it five and a half. If it's five it doesn't really matter. It's, it's not the end of the world. Because again, you don't need to use them all in the same uh, book if you don't want to. And we'll do that at two. Whoops. Oh, help. I'm not finding this very easy. There you go, that's fine. Right. Move my scoreboard out the way. Now, I've taken a piece of the... Uh, some scrapbooking paper here and I was going to use that in one of my corners as well as some book page. Again, just to add an extra wee dimension of interest to the background of what I'm doing here. So we'll get that stuck down. And we'll add some page over the other side. That's my son going to the gym and the dogs get distressed when one of us leaves. Although they don't get distressed when I leave because I make it fairly clear to the dogs that I will not tolerate the noise. Um, and the dogs are fine. The dogs love me. Um, I am the mum and when the mum goes the dogs handle it a lot better than when anyone else goes out. Um, but I refuse categorically to spend my day sitting at the door waiting for folk that are going out to start shouting and bawling at the dogs. They're as adult as I am. They could control the dogs, but they make no effort and tell me it's my fault. No, it's not. Right, that's my paper done. I will now...
do my distress ink on the top. Bear with me while I hold this down for it to seal. Right, I think this time, wait till we get a wee image for... Now, what I quite like about these ones is I've used blue scrapbooking paper here and that's got kind of blue printing on it so it will go quite well and I thought it might be quite nice if we added uh, maybe some lace to the back of this let's just have a look this is quite this is big lace so what we'll do is we'll cut a bit of that. Tea stained by the way, it's not grubby dirty lace. It was beautiful white lace until I got loose. And now it is tea stained or coffee stained rather. Right, what I want to do is layer the lace at the back. like that, I quite like that. Right, that's fine. So what we'll do is first of all we'll try and stick the lace to the picture. With enough hanging over the edge that you see it well enough. Um, in fact, I'm going to move that up a bit. Like that. It's fine by me. Right, now I want to try and stick this back in my pocket. Not my pocket, but the pocket I'm making, if you get my drift. And wee bits of glue on the back of that lace to make it stick in place. I'm going to stick this one in properly this time. The other ones that I've done I've uh, kind of hung over the edge but this one I'm going to just do straight on the lace at the top there. You can barely see the scrapbooking paper actually but that's okay that doesn't matter. Now, uh, I do have one little blue envelope left, but I've also got some lilac envelopes. And I think, actually, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it unless I stick it away up there because I've not got enough room there without sticking it over the girl's face and I don't want to do that. So I can either stick it up there or once I've added some lace here 
I'll do my envelope down the bottom. Uh, let me see what we've got in the way of lace. Yeah, this is my long lace which kind of hangs over the edge. So I'm going to use that this time. When I'm doing embellishments, to some extent, I don't, um, I don't plan. Well, you, you probably have noticed. Uh, I don't plan a lot. Uh, I tend to just. It makes me sound arty farty, and I don't mean. And I don't want to sound like that. Um, but I very much uh, just see how I feel as I'm making something. I suppose I could use the phrase fly by the seat of my pants to be fair and it would probably mean pretty much the same thing. But I, I, I have bits and bobs about and I see how I think things will look and I work to that as opposed to any sort of preconceived notion of how things are going to go. Now I can add, I think what I'll do is I'll add a wee bit of music paper here on top of my lace what I like convention right out the window doing it Moira style but when it comes to layering you, you layer as you feel do you know what I mean? You look, step back and look at things and say, is this quite what I was looking for? Uh, I might use one of these wee kind of blue doilies. In fact, I will. I quite like that. There. Oh, wait a minute. Do I like it better up there? No, I don't. I think I like it better there. And again, my my wee doily is going over the edge of my pocket, but I I don't care. I'm happy enough with that there. Right now, I'm going to add. Sorry, it's a wee bit of glue. I'm going to add my wee envelope. I quite like that one because it's got a wee bit of a wee bit more colour in it. Look at the rumble tons. I hope you don't hear that in the video. It's getting near lunchtime. Oh, in fact, it's ten past twelve. What am I like? Willy nilly here. Uh, get one of my wee letters. Let's stick it in that envelope. there any wee bit of this I can use? Yes, yes there probably is. Let us get the scissors and cut around. That's actually a bit too long. I'm going to take that off there. Just layer that wee bit of lace down the bottom there. In fact, whoops, nearly lost that there. Why don't we add? that wee bit of doily just below the music paper. I always, um, when I watch other folk layering and I look at 
the, the degree of layers and I think to myself, but you've covered up such and such. And I think, oh, I don't know if I would have done that. But I, the thing is, when you go to layer yourself, um, it's, it's the nature of the beast. It adds to what you're doing, do you know what I mean? You can, you can vaguely see the wee doily, you can vaguely see the music, but that's okay because overall it's attractive. It's, it's what I wanted, it's what I was looking for. That's I think we shall add a little heart up the top. Knocked over glue. Might have overdone the glue there because it's all spewing out the top. Um, I'm liking that. What I could also do, just as a wee final touch, is I think I'll add, hold on, I'm going to distress one of these wee tags. In fact, I think there's a tag, Aye, there is a smaller tag, let's have a look at that. Because that big one. Now these are just wee tiny die cut tags. And I stamped them with a little bit of stamp. Because I've got a lot of little bit of stamps. Uh, and I know I said at the beginning that I was trying to make this in such a way that everybody could do it and didn't necessarily have to have a ton of stuff. Um, but there is, use your imagination as to what you have in relation to making stuff. I would say for me, the biggest component, if you like, is the actual time card. Because it's obviously the, the thing that we're decorating and we're turning into either a floating pocket or an embellishment on its own. Beyond that, look at what scrapbooking paper you have, what kind of images you have to match in with the scrapbooking paper. Book page is something what we've all got in abundance. Music paper, again, something most of us have got in abundance. Um, lace, again, most of us have got in abundance. So it's just a question of cutting out bits to match what you've got. Right, I think we'll call it a day there. Let me just have a look. We'll bring together what we've made. Excuse me while I move out the components we haven't used because I'll probably sit and make something with those this afternoon. So here is, this was the first one wasn't it? We've got our, uh, our pocket, we've got lace on it, we've got the wee die cut heart. We've got our image, we've got our book pages at the back, we've got the envelope that we made with our wee um, letter in it, with wee doily, piece of uh, cheesecloth and a vintage button there. So that's our first one and again you can either write on the back or use it as a tuck. And I mean if you're using it as a tuck you can have it, as apart from the fact that obviously you can put a tag in there, you can have it open at the side and something else can be stuck in there or something can go in the top depending on where on your page you put it. Um, here's our second one, we've used the fancy bridal lace as well as two different laces here. Um, die cut heart again with a button, a little image, a tag, book page and music page, that little envelope I made with my wee letter at the top there. And then the last one, Again, we have a bridal lace on top of the doily, a little envelope with more letter in it, the lace at the back, book, uh, music paper, our image with lace that we cut and shoved at the top, where we die cut doily, mu uh, book paper at the back, scrapbooking paper at the back. I mean, there's a lot, lot in that. Well, it's actually, it feels quite heavy. Um, Again, you can write on the back if you wanted to use it for uh, journaling or you can use it as your tuck, 
whatever suits you and again you can use that to use to put a, a thing there in it. There's another one of those little things that I made. And I made that one. Oh, I made that one. I really like that one because I really like the vibrant flowers. Right, so I'll use that in some of this afternoon. So that's that's us. That's our three embellishments, come tags, come top spots, whatever you want to use them as. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for joining me today. I shall speak to you all again soon. Well, I say that. It's anybody's guess, to be fair. Um, but I'll catch you at some point and if there's any questions or if you want to ask anything or give me any advice on what we've done, if you would do things differently, let me know. See you soon. Bye guys. Bye.